All right, this is Anthony Rivera for BehindTheGloves.com here with Fast Eddie Chambers. 115 years since the heavyweight title's been on the line in Brooklyn. What do you think of this uh, heavyweights coming back to Brooklyn? I think it's great, man. I mean, this is a really, really great blue collar type city. You know what I mean? Boxing, there's a lot of great fighters from here. You know what I mean? Some, some great fighters now that fight from here. And, uh, you know, it's good to see that it's uh, close to me where I can come see it all the time. What do you make of uh, this uh, Charles Martin against uh, Glasgow fight? I think it's a really, really interesting matchup. They're both um, undefeated guys, fairly young in the game. Charles Martin, somewhat untested, but I think he's a pretty good, skilled southpaw heavyweight big guy. Uh, it's going to be real. It's going to be a problematic fight for Glasgow in that way. But Glasgow does have the pedigree. He's been around. He fought a few named guys. I think he got a couple of gift decisions, but he's been in there nonetheless. So I think that it's going to be somewhat of a toss-up fight. Very interesting contest, though. Do you think it was okay for uh, them to strip Tyson Fury of that belt? Because they're, they're fighting for that belt right now. Do you think it was right after he gets, he wins the belt, they strip him of that title? No, but I mean, I'm, you know, I'm gonna make sure I stay politically correct. I'm not gonna comment too much on it, but I think it is unfair. You gotta give the champion, and everybody knows those are his belts at this point. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. It's great to see other fighters that are deserving of it get opportunities. But at the same time, it's not fair to strip a fighter who had just won the belt over a, 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 a great, what, 10 plus year world champion. This is unfair. He even won a Ring Magazine Fighter of the Year, so a big year for Tyson Fury. Absolutely. I think, I was, I, honestly, I expected it. You know what I mean? I know the guy. You know, I'm not just friends with him, but I know as a person, not just being friends with him, but as a person, you could just see him. You know what I mean? He, 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 he didn't make it hard for me to come over as another heavyweight contender, top guy, to come and join their team. He didn't have any emotional problems with his uncle basically bringing me in like when I'm, I'm, I'm a member of their family. So I know the, I know the guy's heart. I know where, I know where his head is. I, 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 I think he's one of the better guys that you'll ever meet. And to me, I honestly feel that not that they're stripping and all of the stuff that's been going on is, is a bit ridiculous. But uh, it couldn't be, it couldn't, all the good things could have not happened to a better guy and someone more deserving of being a world champion, to be honest. Have you gotten to, have you gotten to talk to Tyson since he's won the title? A little bit, for briefly, you know what I mean? But obviously it's hard to, you know, talk. I mean, not really, I mean, you can make a way, but I'm letting him enjoy himself. I'm not trying to get too much in his face and, you know, talking. I'm not going to be like a, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not going to be like the normal friend who would just be, bombarding you and asking you questions and wanting to come do this and do that I'm chilling I'm letting him enjoy his time as world champion still like family to me I want to see how I just want to see him keep to continue to do well yo this is Deontay the bronze one wild heavyweight champion of the world and you know what it is you're watching behind the gloves